look at them today. Let's look at equations with brackets and fractions. Some simple equations can present themselves with um, brackets and some can also present themselves with fractions. So let's learn how to solve such kind of equations, okay? Um, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve simple equations with brackets. You should be able to do that and you should also be able to solve simple equations that have um, fractions in them, okay? So let's go, let's um, look at what simple equations are and um, move forward from there, okay? So um, we have simple equations, first of all, let's look at some simple equations involving brackets, okay? Let's take an example. You know, first of all, generally speaking, you know, simple equation is just equation with uh, uh, one variable or so, okay? So this is, let's say we, we have x plus two, is equal to 4. We know that this is a simple equation, okay? But now, we can have some complex, a bit complex simple equations that, you know, fractions begin to come into play. So let's learn how to solve such kind of questions when we see them. For example, number one, so they say we should solve the equation. To solve this equation means they want us to find the value of 0, what, uh, what x, sorry, the value of x, what x is. So solution to this is, 5x plus 11 plus 2 into 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Do you get that? So we are going to um, remove the brackets. Once we remove the brackets, it becomes a simple equation without brackets. So our concern here is to remove the brackets in this expression. How do we remove the brackets? 5 outside of the bracket means that 5, five is multiplying everything inside the bracket. 2 outside of this bracket means that 2 is multiplying everything inside the bracket. Okay? So we start with the first bracket, which is 5 open bracket, x plus 11 close bracket. So this means 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 11 is 55. I hope you know that. Then plus 2 times everything here. 2 times 2x. 2 times 2x will give us 4x minus 2 times minus. So 2 times uh, this plus times minus is minus. That's why I said minus. So 2 times 5 is 10. So this is equal to 0. All right. So we, we can just... Um, um, Okay, this is 5x. Let's group it based on the term. 5x plus 4x plus 555 minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, so this means 5x plus 4x gives us 9x. You get it? Plus 55 minus 10 gives us 45 is equal to zero. So we cannot take like terms, okay? This number is not, does not have any variable with it. So we are going to take it to the term that is a term for natural numbers like zero, okay? So this come to this side so that 9x will be alone here. So we have zero minus, because this is moving over to this side. So this would be minus 45 now. You get the point? This minus changes to, this plus here changes to minus. Okay, so we have 9x is equal to minus 45. Okay? Zero minus anything is minus that thing. Okay? Zero minus u is minus u. Zero minus anything is minus that thing. Okay, so this will not mean Divide both sides by the coefficient of x. This is 9 over, uh, 9x over 9, then minus 45 over 9. So this cancels this. We have x now will now be equal to 45 divided by 9. Okay? That is 9 times, times 5. 9 times 5 is 45. Okay? So the answer is minus 
5. Do you get that now? Okay, so this is what the value of x is. This is how to solve this particular equation. So solving questions with bracket is quite simple. Okay, let's look at the second one before we move into solving questions with um, fractions. So let's bring that to solution. So this is 4 into 3 minus 5n minus 7 into 5 minus 4n plus 3 is equal to 0. So they are asking us to solve this equation. Like I said, solving this equation will mean let's know what the value of n is. Okay? Alright, so 4 times I said everything outside the bracket distributes to everything inside the bracket by multiplication. Okay? So 4 times 3 is 12 minus 4 times 5n is 20n minus 7 times 5 is 35 minus let's see if, if that will be minus because this is minus coming with 7 first of all minus 7 times 5 is what gave us minus 35 but now we are having minus 7 times minus 4n so this minus we multiply minus to give us plus so this is plus so 7 times 4 is 28n 7 times 4n then here we have our plus 3 is equal to 0 okay so the first thing we do there, let's just group these terms by, um, by their numbers, okay? So this is, if we say the first, the, the first ones we are going to group are those ones with variables. So this is minus 20, minus 20n plus 28n, okay? We have brought them together. So this is plus 12, this is plus 12, plus 12 okay minus 35 then plus 3 is equal to 0. i just rearranged what is here this thing is the same thing as what we have here if you check none of the signs changed here is plus 12 look at plus 12 here this minus 20 this minus 20 minus 35 this minus 35 plus 28 this plus 28 plus 3 this plus so nothing changed it's just that i just wanted a situation where it's simple for you know that the, the ones with the variables like the ones with n the same term let them just be together let them just be in the same group why the ones that are real numbers should be in the same group okay all right so we go minus 20 plus 28 minus 20 n plus 28 n okay what that mean is you have 28 naira thank god we have n there so this n let's assume is naira you have 28 naira with you and you are owing somebody 20 naira you have 28 naira and the person wants his 20 naira that you're owing him when you pay the person 20 naira what remains you have 8 naira left okay because you have 28 you have more than what you are owing someone so this minus 20 n plus 28 n this is 8 n okay or the other way to do this you can say okay 28 n minus 20 I did not change the sign of 28, it's still plus 28. I did not change this one. So you, you can still rearrange it anyhow you want to. 28 minus 20 is still 8. So that is still the same thing we got here. All right? So, so we have this point now. We have um, 12 minus 35. 12 minus 35. I've told you this kind of arrangement, simple very simple you know that 12 ordinarily cannot subtract 35 so subtract 12 from 35 the answer put a negative sign because 12 is subtracting a number larger than itself okay so 35 minus 12 this is 5 minus 2 is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so it's 23 so what this means is that my um 12 minus 35 will give us minus 23 do you understand that now? Plus 3 is equal to 0. Alright? We still have something to do here. Minus 23 plus 3. 
It means you are owing somebody 23 naira and you have 3 naira or you are owing somebody 23 pens or 23 whatever, oranges, mango and all that. So you, have, you are owing somebody 23 and you have 3. Okay? When you pay the person that 3 that you have, does that mean that you are no longer owing? No. You still owe the person 20 out of that 23 that you initially owed. So this will mean 8N Will, be, will now be minus 20 is equal to 0. You get that? Okay, so this will now mean 8n, because this will, will take like terms, this move over to this place, will now be equal to 0 plus 20. So 8n will be equal to 20. So divide both sides by the coefficient of n, so that we can get the value of n. So this over 8, which is the coefficient of n, over 20 uh, over 8 again so this removes this and will now be equals to 2 in 8 because 8 cannot divide 20 without remainder it will definitely there will definitely be a reminder when 8 divides 20 so we check for the common factors so that we divide them with that 2 is a common factor that we can use so 2 into 8 is 4 2 into 20 is 10 2 can also go 2 into 4 is 2 2 into 10 is 5. So n is equal to 5 over 2, or if we put it in a mixed fraction, okay, 2 divide 5, it will go 2 times, that is 2 whole number, 1 will be left, 2 into 5, that is 2 divide 5, will go 2 times, that is 2 whole number, 1 will be left, that is 1 over 2. So this is our value of n, okay? So we are just going to look at um, some of these equations that have fractions in them okay we're looking at simple equations involving fractions okay like you have there so let's um, take one example then we move into our exam guide to get as many examples as we can okay so number one solution now, look at this. This is a simple equation. It's a simple equation in the sense that it has just one variable that is even appearing in two places, okay? But just one variable, all right? So, it can be solved the same way we solve simple equation, but at this time, it is appearing in a fractional form. So, the same method of addition and subtraction of fraction is the same method you will use in doing this. Okay, so we have 4m over 5 minus 2m over 3 is equal to 4. Remember, in fractions, the value up, okay, or the value that is being divided is the numerator, while the one that is dividing the value is the denominator, okay? Now, in fractions, we, we have also... Um, uh, we also understand that some fractions may have the same denominator while others will have different denominators, okay? Now, this fraction has different denominators. The first fraction has 5 as its denominator. The second fraction has 3 as its denominator. So what we do is to find the LCM of the two denominators, they can give us as much as four fractions adding or subtracting each other or two uh, or three fractions or ten the simple thing is all the denominators involved in that particular equation or expression okay you will find the lcm okay so now the lcm of five and three okay if you permit me i quickly show you that here if we have three here and we have 5. LCM. LCM is such that we divide this number to a point where we have 1, 1 at this point. Okay? So the only number that can divide 3 here is 3. So 3 into itself is 1. 3 into 5 cannot go, so we bring 5 down. So the only number that can go now again is 5. 5 cannot divide 1, so let's bring it down. 5 into itself is 1. So we say that LCM is equal to what? 3 times 5, which is 15. Okay? Do you get the point now? So, 
another simple way of doing that is that once you have two denominators that do not have same factor they don't have the same factor okay especially two denom especially two denominational uh, two denominators that are somehow odd numbers except for some odd numbers okay es okay prime numbers those denominators when you want to look for their lcm just multiply them together and you'll find the lcm just like here um five does not is not um does not have a common factor or does not have any factor that is relating to three so it's just five times three will give us the denominator okay so what that means is that since the denominator of this five of this five and three since the lcm is 15 we open a large bracket just as you know okay we we'll put 15 there simple remember this is equal to four we have no business here we are trying to simplify this fraction so we bring the equal to down okay so we are having the denominator of the first fraction divides the lcm the answer we get multiplies the numerator okay so we have 3 divide 15 it gives us 5 3 divides 15 gives us 5 so this will not mean 5 times 2m so this is 5 times 2m minus so let's put this in bracket we come here 5 divide 15 will give us 3 3 times 4 that is 3 times 4m okay so so this is what we do there now so we cannot express this now 3 times 4m is 12m minus 5 times 2m is 10 what m all, all over what 15 is equal to 4 now this 4 is over 1 do you get the point so at this point at this point we can now cross multiply we only cross multiply in mathematics where we have two fractions or one fraction at one side of the equation then another fraction and another single fraction at the other side of the equation this expression now is one fraction on its own it's no longer two fractions just like we have here we have added these fractions and our answer is this okay so since we have one fraction here and one fraction here we can now cross multiply we can now apply cross multiplication so cross multiply means let one which is the denominator of the the fraction of the other side that denominator will multiply the numerator of the fraction of the other side of the equation why the denominator of the uh, this other side of the equation will multiply the numerator sorry the numerator of the um, the numerator of the other side of the equation so this one comes to multiply all these or this also multiply whichever way you want to go if you want to take this one to this side or whichever one is the same why 15 multiplies this or 4 multiplies 15 is the same thing so i choose to multiply 1 by all this so 1 times 12m gives us 12m 1 times minus 10m still gives us minus 10m is equal to you see i'm done with multiplying this one with this one so i'm going to the other denominator to multiply to this other numerator so it means 15 times 4 15 times 4 it means adding 15 in four places remember multiplication is repeated addition so it means 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 15 plus 15 is 30 i've added 2 plus 15 45 plus another 15 is 60 so 15 times 4 is 60 so this is 60 you get that all right so we have 12m minus 10m 12m minus 10m gives us 2m thank you is equals to 60. so what do we do here we divide both sides by the coefficient of what m the coefficient of m is 2. so once we divide by the coefficient of m we cannot get the value of m which is the um, um solution to the equation okay so this is over 2 and this over 2. so this removes this m we have our this means that our m is equal to 2 here is 1 2 into 60 is what 30 so our m is equal to 30 so that is our answer there m 
is equal to 30. All right. So let's see if we can um, take some examples from our. Let's take some example from our exam guide. Okay. Let's just pick one or two examples there. Let's look at um, what we are studying now. Simple equations involving fractions and brackets. All right. I think we have something here. all right so we have something there they say we should solve the equation so solution all right so we want to our concern here is to find the value of x that is the solution of this equation okay so we are giving 3, 2x plus 3 over 3 minus 3x over 4 is equal to minus 4. Okay? So, what do we do? The first thing we need to do is, just like we said, find the LCM of the denominators of the two fractions. This is the denominator of the first fraction. This is the denominator of the second fraction. And I said, this, these two denominators, they don't have common factors. Okay? Common factors. Okay? So, what to do, instead of going through LCM of 3 and 4, you know, this is 3, 1, 4, 4, 1, 1. That is 3 times 4. Since they don't have common factor, just say 3 times 4. The answer is their denominator. Is their LCM. The LCM is the lowest common factor. Uh, lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 means the first number that 3 and 4 are factor of or can divide without remainder. That first number is no other number but 12. Okay? So 3 times 4 is 12. So we open a large bracket and put 12 here. Okay? And we do the same thing we do. Uh, like I told you, this place is not, there is no concern here for us. So we just bring it a minus 4. Okay? We are coming to it somewhere. Okay, so for someone we will say we will always start from here. You can start from any point. So let's start from here. 3 divided by or 12 divided by 3. 12 will be divided by the denominator of the first fraction. So 12 divided by 3 will give us 4. So 4 will multiply the, um, the numerator. Remember, the numerator of this fraction is 2x plus 3. Why the numerator of this fraction is 3x? Okay? When we were here, the numerator of this fraction was 4m. The numerator here was 3m. Okay? So, even if we have, let's say, 2x plus 3 plus y plus 8 plus 9 in this same fraction, in this same one, those expressions are the numerator. So the numerator of this particular fraction is 2x plus 3. Do you get the point now? So we divide the LCM by the denominator. That is um, 12 divided by what? 3. Will give us 4. Okay? So 4 times everything here. 4 times 2x plus 3. Alright? So minus. We do the same thing here. This LCM will be divided by the denominator of um of this of this fraction the denominator of of this fraction so 4 divide 12 will give us 3 so this will mean 3 times 3x you get that all right so we now expand or um open the bracket open the bracket will mean that we multiply everything outside the bracket by things inside the bracket so 4 times 2x is 8x plus 4 times 12, 4 times 3 is 12. Did you get that? All right. Then minus 3 times, minus 3 times 3x will give us minus 9x. Okay? 3 times 3 is 9. Okay? So 
divided by 12 is equal to minus 4. So this should be over 1 so that it will just represent every natural occurring numbers have 1 as the denominator. So 2, like 2 like this, okay, 3, 70, and so on. They all have over 1, over 1, over 1 as the denominators, okay? So don't forget that. Alright, so what that means is we have 8, this is um, 8x minus 9x plus 12 all over 12 is equal to minus 4 over 1. What I simply did here is just the rearrangement. I didn't change any sign. 8x, 8x minus 9. I just brought it, since it has s, I brought it to where there is x. That's just what I did there, okay, for clarity's sake. Then the 12 is still there unchanged. Okay? Uh -huh. So we now have. Um, Alright, so um, now what I was explaining is um, 8x minus 9x. Okay? It will give us, because you are owing somebody 9x, you have 8x. If you pay, you still be owing 1x. So that is minus x. There is no need of writing minus 1x, okay? It's a blunder. Okay? So the, then plus 12 is there. All over 12 is equal to what? Minus 4 over 1. Okay? So cross what? Multiply. We'll cross multiply this now. Why? Because this is now a unit fraction, a single fraction. Why this is also a single fraction. So this multiplies this. This multiplies this. Okay? So we have 1 times minus x is minus x plus 12. My 1 times 12 is 12. Then here we have um, 12 times minus 4. So the answer will be first of all minus because this is a positive here. Remember, plus times minus is minus. From that, okay? So... Um, so, 12 times minus 4 is 12 added 4 times, okay? That is 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is a simple way of doing all these things, okay? Alright, so this is 48, this is minus 48. Do you get that now? So at this point, we take like terms. This is not a term of x, so take it to this point. So minus x is now equals to minus, <coughs> excuse me, minus 48 minus 12. Why is it minus 12? Because plus 12 has moved over to the other side of the equation. It changes to minus, okay? So minus x is now equal to, now look at this now, minus 48 minus 12. This kind of expression confused students a lot, but it's simple. This person borrowed 48 Naira from OB, and after that, he borrowed another 12 Naira from maybe Peter. Okay? So, he's owing OB 48 Naira. He's also owing Peter 12 Naira. So, if he sum up everything he's owing, so he's owing... 48 Naira and another 12 Naira. So if you sum this thing up, this will give you 8 plus this is 0. 8 plus this, um, 4 plus this is 5. Um, 6, or rather. This is 0, that is 10 now. 48 over uh, plus 12. This, this is 10. Rather than 0, carry 1. This, this is 5 plus 1, 60. Okay? Alright, so it means that this is 60 minus 60 minus 60. So the total depth is owing is 60 naira. Okay? So what do we do now? Because there is a negative sign here and there is a negative sign here, we can divide both sides by the, the coefficient of x. Hope you know that the coefficient of x there is minus 1. The coefficient of x here is minus 1. x, a, um, v, w, any of these alphabets that represent a number in mathematical terms, Always know that there is an invisible coefficient. There is an invisible one at their back here, okay, which is their coefficient. So if, if we say minus x, it means this means minus 1x. 
Do you understand that now? All right. So this is divide both what sides by minus one, which is the coefficient, okay, of x. So this is minus x divided by minus one is equal to minus sixty divided by minus one. Okay, so this cancels this. X is equal to minus cancel minus one divided by. See what I did here, so that you don't get confused. Um, minus cancel minus is gone. One divide x. One divide anything is that thing. One divide one million is one million. One divide five thousand is five thousand. So one divide x is x. So that is what I did here. All right. So here. Um, Minus divides minus, they will go off. Then 60 divided by 1 is 60. So x is equal to 60. All right? All right. So if we look at this place, the answer is option A. Option A is our right answer there. All right.